So the first thing that is there is log mn is equal to log m to the base a plus log n to the base a. As in, say suppose I have log 24 to the base 6 can be written as log 8 into 3 to the base 6 because 24 is 8 into 3. Now this is the same as log 8 to the base 6 plus log 3 to the base 6. So in other words, if you have this, even reverse can be done. Log of a plus b is log ab. Now, hence we have this particular concept of log, this particular rule of log. But here we need to be very, very careful that log a into log b should not be mixed with log ab. Whenever you have a situation of log a into log b, say log 8 into log 3, we have to find out log 8 separately, log 3 separately and then multiply the values. So this is log of the product of two numbers is sum of the logs of those numbers. So log of a into b. So th this thing is something which you need to note that whenever you find the log of two numbers and then multiply them it's not the same as log ab nor can this be written it cannot be hence written as log a plus log b hence we need to be careful whenever we have to come across this situation similarly you have this it's an offshoot of this log of m by n to the base a is log m to the base a minus log n to the base a say for example log of say 12 to the base say 3 this can be written as log 12 to 12 upon 12 can be written as maybe 36 by 3 to the base 12 to the base 3 I'm sorry so we get this can be written as log 36 to the base 3 minus log 3 to the base 3 because it is in 12 as 36 upon 3 hence log of a by b is log of a minus log of b again here we should not mix this up with log 36 by log 3 log 36 by log 3 is not the same as log of 36 by 3 hence we have this particular thing then we have the next rule power of power rule now log of m raised to n to the base a is n log m to the base a. So in other words, suppose I have log of 2 cube to the base 4, it is 4 log, sorry, 3 log 2 to the base 4. That is, I have taken the 3 as a coefficient of this expression, the remaining 3 remains as it is. So it's log of m raised to n to the base a is n log m raised to the a. And one very important two major, we will come back to this rule later on. Another rule that is there is log of a number raised to the same number is 1. 2 raised to the base 2 is 1. We know that if we convert it to exponential form, 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. So log of any number to the same base will always be 1. This is going to be an important rule which you are going to apply in many of the problems that we will be solving. So log of 7 to the base 7 is 1, log of 10 to the base 10 is 1 as well. And log of 1 to the base a is 0. How can we get this? Simple rule, we know that log of any number raised to 0 is 1. So if you convert this to exponential form, we see that the relationship is true. So log of 1 to the base a is 0. If you change it to exponential form, you get a raised to 0 is 1, which is valid. So log of 1 to any base, these two rules we shall be using off and on. And another very important rule is this. Log of a to the base b into log of b to the base a is 1. In other words, if you have a number, say log of 3 to the base 2, it is a reciprocal of log of 2 to the base 3. That means when you interchange the power and the base, 
the logarithms become reciprocal of each other. It's the same as if we multiply this, you get log of 3 to the base 2 into log of 2 to the base 3 is equal to 1. So, hence we have this particular rule. So, let's take another example log of 7 to the base 8 into log of 8 to the base 7 will be equal to 1. So, we're just interchanging the power and the base. Now, quite often we have the base we see is normally to be mentioned. Otherwise, for all our decimal system, since most of us, all of us, all our calculations are based on the decimal system, that is, we deal with numbers from 1, 0 to 9, hence there are 10 digits. So, we are going to deal with the decimal system. So, suppose the log is not mentioned, say for example, log 10, it is understood that the base is 10. It is, so, when you just say log 10, it means log 10 to the base 10. So, the value of this is going to be log 10 to the base 10 is the same as this log of any numbers to the same base is 1. So, log of 10 to the base 10 is 1. So, if the base is not being mentioned for all practical purposes, since we are dealing with the decimal system, we take the base as 10. Otherwise, the base would be mentioned. Now, this is called the common logarithm. There is another concept of logarithm where the base is a number called e. So, say log t to the 2 to the base e. This is called natural logarithm where e is an irrational number 2.7182 and so forth. But we are going to deal with this. So, in case the base is not mentioned, we can take the base as 10 since it is going to be dealing with common logarithms. So, these are some very important rules which we shall apply again and again.